Aqua Lungers is a multiplayer um, mayhem treasure collecting brawler of sorts, side scrolling. Uh, lots of different weapons and upgrades, lots to do, different colored suits. Um, it is very multiplayer focused, but unfortunately, these days, we are not getting a whole lot of multiplayer stuff in, aren't we? Unless it's online, because, uh, well, we got COVID. But that doesn't mean you can't have some fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you guys... Hey, you know, maybe this game looks interesting to you. What would it be like to play if it was just you by yourself? And, um, well, first let's go over what the game is like. So basically what you're doing is you are jumping into the water or wherever you are. You're picking up power-ups, you're picking up shields, you're picking up different weapons, and you are either avoiding or engaging with enemies down here. And really the whole point is to collect treasure. You find these, um, you find these, uh, treasure filled sunken ships. If you attack an enemy, sometimes they'll spawn treasure. Um, and then once you are full of treasure, you swim back to the surface, back to your treasure chest and you fill up your chest. And you can see the little 800 up in the corner. What you're trying to get to is the number 3000. And on a, in a multiplayer scenario, what you'd be doing, oops, sometimes you die you respawn. You pretty much have infinite respawns. Now you will notice up at the top it says that I have two lives. Um, but that's really just kind of, once you run out of lives, it starts taking your treasure away instead. Um, which is not, not a huge deal, especially for playing single player. In multiplayer, that's a big deal because in multiplayer, the first one, the first player to 3000 wins the round. Um, and you can adjust all those settings in in the menu but for these purposes that guy's not giving me any treasure for the purposes of single player in order to beat the level it caps you out at 3000 and um, I just got a little shield there which really helps because there are people there are piranhas trying to eat me uh, now is this game does this game hold up in a single player scenario. And I would say a solid kind of? I mean, it is still a fun game to just pick up and play. Very easy, you know, you're using maybe three, four buttons. Um, you know, it, it, the concept is very simple and um, I'm, I'm relatively far in this game. So what we'll do is we'll head over to a new world and show you about how varying this game gets, because every new island you get to has a new boss. Um, and it's the same boss for all three levels. Like this world has a turtle and some fresh music and some fresh tunes. And this is why it's called Aqua Lungers because you hold down and you lunge. And there are some enemies that you literally have to do that to. So. Like these turtle guys. These turtle guys are a real nightmare to kill if you're not lunging at them. And there's this big fat turtle guy. Now, on the first three levels, three or four levels of your island, the boss of the island is unkillable. So he's basically just there to annoy the hell out of you. And if you hit him enough times, he starts spawning treasure. Um, but I will show you guys what a boss battle looks like. So if you remember on our first island, here you are. You beat all three levels, you get access to the boss level. And the boss level is... Uh, now the boss has a health bar. And you'll see, here we go. Here's that little tentacle guy we had before. Defeat the boss. You have five minutes. And you don't. doesn't matter if you collect treasure. Although it does help if you start running out of lives. Now the boss has a health bar. Now your goal is to deal as much damage as you can. Ooh, did you guys hear that thunder in the background? Maybe you didn't. But if you did, it is very much raining where I am. Um, you, your only goal really is to kill the boss. So you can collect treasure, you can kill other enemies, but at the end of the day, um, in a multiplayer scenario, the one with the most treasure and the one with the last kill wins. Uh, kind of a combination of those two things. Um, 
But single player, really, all you got to do is kill the boss. Which you will do eventually because you essentially have infinite lives. So the real barrier to, to, um, to beating this is how frustrated you get. If you get incredibly frustrated by just like the, all the random elements coming together to destroy you, um, because there, there are a lot of random elements, just like enemies in weird places, etc. If you get really frustrated by that kind of thing, this game probably is not for you. Um, I got pretty frustrated uh, at a couple points and had to put the game down just for my own sanity. Um, did I have fun? Yes. I don't know if this is the game I would choose to spend money on right now. If it's just you, you don't have friend, you don't have family or friends around in your house because of COVID, you know, so you're kind of stuck playing single player stuff or online games. Maybe wait until you can have friends over to uh, dive into this guy because it is really designed for multiplayer madness, which is sort of impossible right now. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out way more of the Nintendo Dads content on their podcast feed or right here on YouTube. And we will see you guys later.